Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizoglu and in this tutorial I'm going to answer a couple questions people keep asking. Now, how do I bring up the Developers tab? Just click on... Uh, if you go to my video tutorial called uh, Data Picker in Microsoft Excel and you scroll down, I have already uh, on my website uh, all the files that you need to follow this tutorial. However, if you wish to get uh, started straight away uh, if you scroll further down, oops, you will be able to notice that uh, I have uh, a file with uh, all the forms and the VBA code in place. Just open this file, enable the editing and enable uh, the content. And as you can see here, you can actually straight away start using the data picker. Now, if you wish to go to to change the dates for example here goes up to uh, 1995 okay that's the lowest date that you can select the highest date you can select is 2065 so if I want to change this date 1995 to 1994 1993 or whatever I need to change a number uh, by using the VBA code so if we go to the developers tab click Visual Basics, double click on the calendar, double click on the drop down list for the data picker and here we will be able to see, we'll scroll slightly up, we'll be able to see 4i equals minus 20 to 50. So if I would like to go one year below I can put change that to minus 21. If I want to go 20 years or 50 years back, I'll put 50, 50 years back, minus 50 I might put, say, for instance, um, 60 years forward, or 100 years forward, or 1,000 years forward, it's up to you. Yeah? So, because I've done that, let's close this. If I go now to there, it doesn't only take me up to 1995, but also takes me to, down to 1965. Okay? From 1995, it takes me down to 1965. And now it takes me up to 2075 as well. So this is how you're going to change the years on, from the drop-down list. Now, if you wish to customize the colors of the data picker as well, what you will need to do is go to the Developers tab, go to the Visual Basics, double-click on the form, and basically you can customize all the gray areas here. Apart from the buttons, you will not be able to customize the buttons. So, if you click on this section here, I can change the background color to, let's say, for instance, orange. If I go here, I can change the background color to, let's find something different, uh, blue. Uh, I can cl click on that one here, I can change the background color to purple. You just get the gist there. I can change the drop down list to blue the background color to let's say green and so on and so forth you can also change the colors if I hold the control key down I can change the colors of uh, the text here to let's say red and I can change the font color to let's say white Okay, it looks a bit rainbow in there, but I think you get the, the gist here. So if I close this window now and click on the data picker, I can see all the colors have changed. Uh, now you can use the colors of your company or your organization, you can customize them. However, you will not be able to change these colors. It, you will still be able to change the colors of the button, but it requires a bit more uh, advanced um, tutorial on that. I'm not going to go down to this route because I think it's, uh, it's going to take too long and it's most likely for people, you know, they're not really interested on, on doing this. Anyway, if you feel that you want to change the buttons, let me know and I will produce a new video for you. Alright, thank you for watching. Okay, bye.